I'd like to introduce to you PC Tran APWR. PC Tran is a nuclear power plant simulator. <clears throat> and ABWR is General Electric Designed uh, Advanced Boiling Water Reactor. In the middle of the display is the reactor vessel. And ABWR is different uh, from most of the early uh, BWR by moving the recirculation pumps inside the reactor vessel. There are 10 of them, and they grouped to 4 and 6. Moving the pumps inside uh, uh, eliminate the, the recirculation loops in the containment. Uh, at the earthquake uh, or it reduced the chance the pipe break and of a major coolant loss. Other improvement are the uh, advanced containment that is much larger. And uh, when you have a pipe break, a coolant pressurize the uh, the dry well. This is the dry well. The horizontal uh, vents uh, move the steam into the suppression pool. Suppression pool is uh, a lunar shape. And that composed the uh, primary containment. Outside containment is the reactor building <coughs> in BWR convention. The vertical bars are the fuel assemblies, and the uh, white rods are the uh, control rods. So now it's a full power, 100%. <coughs> the power is about 3,900 megawatt thermal, and the elect electric about one third, 1,300 megawatt. So steam is uh, uh, generated in the core uh, through the separator uh, and dryer into the steam line to dry the turbine. And steam is condensed condensed uh, in the condenser, there are a number of them, and the heaters, the heat water, uh, feed water pumps uh, put it back into the wrecked vessel. When we click the runner sign, uh, simulation start, it's one to one. You can speed up to two to one, or four to one, up to 16. Uh, one to one means real time. For BWR control, we vary the recirculation pump speed. Full speed is 1500 RPM. Suppose we reduce it to uh, somewhere around 1400. You see the flow goes down. As a result, there are more voids generated inside the core. And the voice uh, has a lesser uh, moderator capability than, than the water. So the reactivity feedback would be a negative. And the power go down. So originally it's 100%, now power dropped to 98%. Suppose we click further, and there are more reduction in power. We can view flux and flow map. The vertical bar, I mean the vertical axis is the uh, flux, neutron flux, 0 to 120%. And the horizontal axis is the flow, core flow. You see? They're both 100% originally. By reducing the uh, research flow, uh, the more voids and the lesser power. So the the yellow operating points are uh, moving to the uh, lower left. You see, if we do more, you see that yellow dot move further uh, left, lower power. And that's the, not the only way to reduce the power. 
we can also insert a ROS. Right now, that 98% uh, will be strong. If we click it to make 92%, and here's the ROS speed. If we make it a little faster, just, you know, we can see it very quickly. You see the power will be the ROS go in, right? And the power go down. Because uh, the ROS have a strong uh, neutral absorption material, such as boron. Uh, it absorb more neutron and power go down. And of course, we can pull it back up again. And we can speed it up the pump again. And then you'll see the, po the power will move back to original. See, it moved back to uh, original uh, full power. And we can see transient plot. Power and flow. The alphabetical order. The neutron flux and uh, right. Here's a neutron flux versus time. And so far, we see the uh, normal operation. Suppose we have an accident. We can click the code control and more function. There are quite a number of them, over 20 of them. It varies from pipe breaks, uh, loss of feed water, uh, loss of uh, feed water heating, red co coolant pump trip, uh, turbine trip, and uh, all combination of uh, everything possible happen to the plant. Suppose we have a steam line break inside the containment. We choose that one and make a major one, a large 1,000 centimeters square. Something interrupting, don't worry about it. Active made and close that and run. So the steam line, there's a break. You see, there's a large flow rate over 1,000 uh, pounds per second. And the reactor immediately shut down. So the power dropped to decay heat. Now it's only 4%. And uh, suppose we lose feed water. There's a large uh, high pressure field for ABWR. The pumps are turbine driven. It takes water from the condensate storage tank and put it into the reactor vessel. There's another one called react coolant isolation cooling. And that's also turbine driven. Uh, it has a time delay. So, uh, and the RHR, residual heat removal uh, system, the pump will be start uh, our emergency diesel. It takes water from the suppression pool and back to the vessel. Uh, right now, the pressure is still pretty high, 400 PSI. And this is a low pressure pump. They'll wait until the uh, reaction dropped to somewhere around uh, 300, uh, 200 PSI. Uh, that would, could overcome to, to feel the, uh, the emergency core cooling. There are many different modes. The shutdown cooling mode for normal shutdown cooling. And right now, the, that's a low pressure injection mode. And there's a, also a containment spray. Uh, it takes water to reduce, spray in the containment to reduce the uh, pressure. 
and there's a suppression cooling mode. So those are multiple layers of protection of the ABWR. And in the containment side, we also uh, tr keep track of uh, radioactivity uh, uh, propagation inside the uh, dry well, the wet well, and the, the, the lower level, dry well, uh, lower wet well, that's suppression pool, and uh, also in the react building and turbine building. So this is a simulator covers both the nuclear reaction, the thermohydraulic, uh, extended to radiation uh, protection propagation is used to be used for uh, training education in uh, university. Also used by your natural labs and utility companies uh, in their operator training and the staff uh, education, uh, emergency plan, and licensing support. So so far, it's a brief. Uh, introduction and uh, you may test it out and try yourself. Thank you. Bye.